This video is on the unit circle. I will be deriving the entire unit circle. Okay, so what you're seeing on the screen is a unit circle and it's called that simply because the radius from the center to any point is a one, right? One is a single unit. Okay, now for every dot that you're seeing, you're gonna have three different things that we need to fill in. There's going to be an ordered pair, right? So I'm gonna start off with, and I'm gonna make them in pink. I'm gonna start off with these four dots. Each of those dots is gonna have a, an ordered pair. It's gonna have some sort of a degree measure and some sort of a radian measure. I know you don't know what that is yet. We'll get there. Okay, so if this point right here is considered to be the origin, right? Like on a big giant graph, if this is zero, zero, and this is one unit away, then it's ordered pair. I'm not gonna edit that out. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to hear the bell. Anyway, this ordered pair right here would be one, zero, okay? And up here at the top, this would be zero, one, over here on the far left, this ordered pair would be negative one, zero. And at the bottom, this would be zero, negative one. Okay, now if we're talking about degrees, right? And we're gonna consider this point right here sort of like the starting point um, where you count degrees from. This is zero degrees, all right? And if we're going in a clockwise motion, if this is going to be positive, then this point up here is 90 degrees, all right? And then when you get over here, this is gonna be 180 degrees. I'll put that right there. Um, when you get down to the bottom, this is gonna be 270 degrees. And actually, if you continued all the way around and ended up right back here where you started, right? We went here, we went back here. This is also 360 degrees. Okay, now, as far as radians, radians have to do with the circumference. So let's talk about the circumference around the circle. Circumference is two pi r. So, this is a unit circle, which means that the radius is one. So that means that the circumference is two pi. So again, if I'm starting here at this pink dot and I go all the way around, the circumference here is two pi. That's what we call radians. So think about this, and I'm gonna switch colors. If I started here and only went here, right? I didn't go all the way around the circle. I just went halfway around. That means that this would be pi. Uh, why won't my pen write? There we go, that would be pi, right? And it kind of makes sense then that this up at the top would be half of a pi, right? Again, if you're going from here to here and that's pi, then half that distance would be pi over two, right? So if this is pi over two and then this is another pi over two, that makes this three pi over two pi over two. All right, and then we already have this over here as being two pi, all right? So I've got four of my dots all done. Okay, let me scoot this up, get a fresh blank one, okay? And we're gonna try and do these um, 45 degree markers, all right? So like this one and that one and this one and this one. Okay, so let's start with the fact that this is a 45 degree angle, all right? And if I drop this down, and you know that this hypotenuse is a one, all right? And because this is an isosceles triangle, right? Again, I know some geometry terms here that you may not like, but this leg and this leg have to be the same. Um, and if you use your Pythagorean theorem, you use your special right triangles that you've been studying before this, you can figure out that this is rad two over two, okay? And so is that one, all right? So that means that this as an ordered pair is rad two over two, rad two over two, all right? And as far as the degrees, you can see that that's 45 degrees, all right? And then the question as far as radians is, 
right, is this is going to be a proportion, okay? It's a proportion. If the entire circle, right, if 360 degrees is equivalent to 2 pi, then the question is how many radians is 45 degrees? Okay, so let's solve this. Um, cross multiplying, 360 degrees x is equal to 90 degrees pi, right? I just multiplied. Um, I'm going to divide by 360. And let's see, the zeros cancel out. 9 goes into 36 four times. I get pi over 4. Pi over 4 is the radian measure for that, that particular dot. Okay, so now over here in the second quadrant, I mean, I could go ahead and draw this in, but I think you re recognize that the legs are the same lengths, right? It's the same triangle. It's just been like flipped over the y-axis. So this ordered pair, because I'm in the second quadrant, right? Second quadrant. Every ordered pair in this quadrant is negative positive. So this is negative rad 2 over 2 and positive rad 2 over 2. As far as the degrees, if this is 45 degrees, hopefully you can see if I'm going in this direction that I am 45 degrees short of getting to 180, right? If I went all the way to here, that's 180, but I'm not all the way there. I'm only getting to here. So 180 minus that 45 is 135 degrees. And then as far as the radians, you can do another conversion right here. 360 equals 2 pi, right? 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. So 135 degrees would be how many radians, okay? And I'll let you do that computation. It's 3 pi over 4. All right, so down here, right? I'm now in the third quadrant. So I'm at 180 degrees plus 45 more. So this is 225 degrees. The ordered pair is going to be unbelievably similar, except they're both going to be negative. And the reason that they're both negative is because we're in the third quadrant. Negative red 2 over 2, negative red 2 over 2. And as far as the radians there, you're going to do another computation like this. Okay, prove to yourself that this is 5 pi over 4. And then this dot right here, right, this one, this is in the fourth quadrant, and I am just 45 degrees short of getting to 360, right? Let me change color so you can kind of see what the heck I'm talking about there. If I start here and I went to here, I'm almost all the way around, right? I'm just this much short of 360, right? So 360 minus 45 is 315. So this is 315 degrees. If you did a conversion like this, you'll figure out that this is, sorry, I shouldn't have written that. Um, in radians, in radians, it is, uh, let's see, it's over four. 7 pi over 4. And then the ordered pair, again, is going to be ultra similar to all the other ones. In the fourth quadrant, it's positive, negative. Okay, so that's four more of the dots. So as of right now, I've got eight dots on this unit circle filled in. Okay, let me scoot this up. Let's get some more of these. Okay, so let's do this one. Okay, so this is a 30 degree angle. Okay, 30 degree angle, this is a side of one. Okay, so if this is a 30, 60, 90, and we know one side, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out the other two sides. Based on your knowledge of special triangles, this should be one half on the side, and this should be rad three over two. 
So this ordered pair is red three over two, one half. As far as how many radians it is, 360 degrees is two pi radians. So 30 degrees is how many radians. <clears throat> Again, you solve this by cross multiplying. Uh, sorry, that's a pi, not, sorry about that, that's a pi. All right, so dividing by 360, canceling out the zeros, six goes into 30, so it's pi over six. So this radian measure is pi over six. Um, and the degrees we already said was, this is 30 degrees. So that means that over here, if I'm gonna be 30 degrees short of 180, this is 150 degrees, all right? You can do the conversion like you did over here to figure out the radians. Um, this should be five pi over six. And then the ordered pair, again, it's gonna be almost identical to this. You just have to adjust the signs based on the quadrant. So this is negative red three over two, one half. Okay, this is gonna be another 30 degree angle, right? This is just 30 degrees more than 180. So this is 210 degrees. If you do the conversion to figure out the radians, that's seven pi over six. And the ordered pair is both gonna be negative. Negative red three over two, negative one half. And then this dot down here, this is 30 degrees short of a full rotation. So 330 degrees, right? This would be a full rotation, but we didn't get there. We only got to here and this is 30 degrees, right? That's where the 330 comes from. If you convert it um, into radians, the denominator is still gonna be six um, and the numerator is gonna be 11. And then the ordered pair is going to be positive negative and that's because you're in the fourth quadrant okay now for the last one sorry about that for the last one i don't have another blank so i'm going to go back to the top one i'm going to erase all the stuff and use it for my last conversion so let me see how do i do that this get rid of that get rid of that all of that and that okay here we go so next i need the 60 degrees Okay, so that's gonna be this dot that we haven't done yet. So this is a 60 degree, so let me just mark that as 60, which makes this 30. Keep in mind, hypotenuse is still one. So that means that my ordered, or uh, this side, sorry, is one half, and this one is red three over two. So my ordered pair this time is one half, red three over two, and the radians here, if you do the conversion, are pi over three. All right, so now we're starting to kind of get in the habit here. That's also going to be a 60 degree angle. There's going to be one down here and a fourth one right here. So let's see. For this dot, if we're 60 degrees short of 180, this is 120 degrees. If you do the conversion, this is going to be 2 pi over 3. And this ordered pair is negative 1 half rad 3 over 2. All right. This location is 60 degrees more than 180, so that's 240 degrees. As far as the radians, it is 4 pi over 3, and the ordered pair, these are both going to be negative. And then this last one, if we're 60 degrees short of a full rotation, this is 300 degrees. Doing the conversion as far as the radians, it's gonna be five pi over three. And then as far as the ordered pair, this one's gonna be positive, negative. All right, so what I'd like you to do next is to put that all together onto a unit circle like this, right? So all these locations need to have a degree marker, a radian marker, and an ordered pair. It should look like this.